might protect this So if you even think it better move to the next lick But anyway, I'm here to do a video called Tutorial Reason notice the automation Q. coming up on the course Boom, watch it change, it goes down Hype up the course right into the bridge now Like, uh, 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 here we go I'm about to stop and give you a little tutorial Okay Just felt like being a little ambitious there <laughs> Gave you a freestyle Alright, don't laugh at me I'm working on it Going back To show you what it is that I'm doing all right, notice that on the pre-course, going into the course, there was a tempo change. Boom, right there. And it switched, um, I'll show you that again. Note that right here. In the pre-course, the tempo is 120, but once it goes into the course, I'm up in the tempo. Boom. Um, because I wanted the course to be a little bit more hyped. So I, I added in the tempo change. I'm going to show you how to do that. Other thing that I would notice about this track. Because it's like so. Um, there's so much going on in it. And it's kind of you know a lot complicated. And whatnot. Notice the organization of it. Um, something that, that you know was learned. Uh, notice that everything is labeled. Intro, verse, pre-course, course, bridge. Um, you know. Everything is labeled, cut, color cord, coordinated, and um, I took the time to organize it because it just made my job a lot easier at the end of the day. Uh, you don't want to be, it's easy just be like, oh, where's that, where's that, um, where's that synth at? Oh, okay, I have a synth mixer. Where's that one drum part, or where's that bass? You know, I just have a mixer for each um, different element and then the main mixer, and I'm going to hit control one and boom notice that it's just complicated there is a lot of stuff right here <laughs> so um yeah organization organization wherever you see the little green line around um something highlighted around something that means it's been automated every single thing in reason is automatable in order to automate you're going to click alt um, on a, on an area, I'm gonna like like save this master volume, but let's go ahead and um work on. Hmm, let me go into find my vocals, and I'm gonna um show you how to first automate and then <coughs> excuse me how to um use effects through the aux aux sends which are used for effects processing. So in order to get the automation, you're going to alt or right click and um, or left click, just click and press alt on Windows. I forget it, um, what the Mac one is. And then now that's automatable. And that's for live automation. Clear it, right click clear. But in order to do the live automation, you're just going to um, make your track um, automation enabled enable automation on your track by doing that and then hit and record and then make your changes live make the exact changes that you want it want to sound like um, during playback you're gonna make those while it's recording and then you're gonna hear those back and you're gonna be able to move those so if you make changes to it now like when it comes up you know it's just it's gonna jump back to green like even though I just had it off, it went back up because it's in use. Alright, um, so that's that as far as automation. And I'll give you a live example of that. Alright, so let's say. Uh, that's already automated. Hmm. Let's go to the beginning where the synth mixer is. Where the synth is, we're going to go to the beginning. And to rewind, I'm hitting 4 on the numeric keypad. Takes me all the way to the beginning. Hit the space bar. No matter what. Say I want that to be low. No matter what we go through. Just, 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 automatable. I think it's best that we go our separate ways. 
sad just a little bit. All right, stop it. Go back to the beginning. Hit play. No matter what. And no we're going kind to of watch the beta's move. That means it's been automated. But it's, it's not right yet. Now. But we'll see just think it's the best exactly what I did. Let's see what went wrong. Oh, I forgot to press record. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> click. Oh, click. Oh, first, let me clear the other one. And now, oh, click. Okay. Don't forget to press record. Go back to the beginning. One thing that you learn about audio, there's always like something happening. You got to troubleshoot. So, no biggie. Like smalls. Okay. And then I'm going to hit um, the star, the little twinkly little star thing on the numeric keypad. And um, that's going to get me record enabled. No matter what. Now I'm going to move my no favorite. And then hit the space bar to stop before that, and then uh, space bar again to play it. And now we should see the um, changes that I made on the um, fader. Start from the beginning, and that that will help out. Do it again. Play. No matter what. No matter what we go through. Ah, there we go. Right now. That's right now. come in handy if you want to blend or if you know you want to let it fade into the background and introduce something else um man automation is just great um there's i mean limitless possibilities if you use with automation um uh let's see let's see let's see tempo change let's go over how i did that Going into, from the pre chorus to the chorus, I did some simple change right here. I um, noticed this block right there. That's where the tempo changes, and it goes back to one, then 120 at the verse where the tempo, where that ends. Let me show you how I did that. Um, I'm in a transport because that's where your tempo is in the transport area. Now, um, let's see. All I did was alt click, and when I did that, um, the tempo came up here. So let me see. Yeah, I don't really want to clear it, but I'll clear it for the sake of this video. Alt click again, and boom, it comes right back up. And then I'm going to grab my pencil tool, and I started it on the course. Just draw it in. Look how simple this is, man. Click on it, and then. Uh, with my pencil tool again, I'm gonna uh, just move it up to wherever I want to, wherever I want that tempo to go. Mm. Let me see what that is. Look how fast that is now. All the way to my 58. But once I get to the bridge, I don't like how that sounds. So I'm going to add in another little um, change. I'm going to bring it down um, going to the bridge. And if I want it to gradually go down, it'll just be that one marker. But I want it to actually um, 
And instead of going back and forth with, with the tools like this, all I have to do is really cl click Alt and then it's going to give me that pencil tool. I'm going to drag it down and boom. I got the tempo change that I want. Q. Cool beans, huh? Automation. Automation. So that's uh, drawn in automation. And I like to draw it in here because, I mean, that's a big deal as far as um, the arrangement of my song. So I want to be sure that the tempo change is the same on each course. So in that case, I went ahead and drew it in. And I can control, uh, copy, paste. And just and I can um, move that exactly where I want it to want it to go, and I want it right there. And now I got a tempo change on my course and uh, bridge throughout the whole song. All right, let me see. Cool. <laughs> sweep I did right there call it a fil filter sweep call it whatever you want but also did that with automation too I uh, might give you that little tidbit on another video but this one is getting kind of long so just let this ride out and I hope you enjoyed this video you didn't do. I, I enjoyed you hopefully the, the feeling is mutual and uh, I will see you watching this video.